The recent Bohol and Cebu quake renewed calls for having an urban plan alongside with a national policy on land use and management. Passed in the House of Representatives, but still pending in the Senate, House Bill 6545 seeks to standardize the classification of land use for protection land use, production land use, settlements development, and infrastructure development. It has been certified as urgent by President Aquino. But critics of the said bill mainly come from private sectors, saying that the bill is biased towards the peasantry and neglects manufacturing and commercial industries. Welcome to Opposing Views, a hard, straightforward discussion of today's most pressing issues. The Philippines has vast land resources, but how we can maximize these for sustainable and meaningful development is everybody's question. An act instituting a national land use and management policy, although certified as urgent, is still pending. Let's debate about that tonight. Our question, does the Philippines need the National Land Use and Management Act, or what we call NALUA? Good evening, I'm Rod Dipomoseno, and this is Opposing Views. And joining us tonight in our discussion is Ifugao, Representative Teddy Bagilat. Teddy, good evening. Good evening, Rod. All right, uh, Teddy, give us your uh, quick thoughts on the NALUA, or the National Land Use Act. Well, I'm the principal author, one of the principal authors of the National Land Use Act. Mm -hmm. We almost passed it in the last Congress. We're refiling it in this Congress. Mm -hmm. We think it's a blueprint for development. Uh, mm -hmm. We think it also addresses the issue on food security as well as inclusive development. No? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I think the most pressing issue right now is trying to mitigate the calamities the or right. the effects of natural disasters, which we think will be addressed by a National Land Use Act. All right. Thank you, uh, Congressman. And with us also is Dr. Jimmy Kura, Vice Chairman of the RGV Group of Real Estate Companies. Dr. Jimmy, good evening. Good evening, Rod. Yeah. Good evening, uh, Congressman. Uh, your uh, quick thoughts on uh, the NALUA, um, Doc? It's a law that we've uh, needed in this country a long time ago. You know, uh, it's funny how we've been developing somehow without the National Land Use Act. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing that the private sector would like, however, is to make sure that the consultation with the concerned sectors takes place mm -hmm. uh, because there really are many operational uh, mm -hmm. consequences of a National Land Use Act that is brought into the picture at this uh, stage in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, unless properly explained, it could send the wrong signals and maybe cause uh, unnecessary uh, anxiety amongst our So essentially, the, the, the way the, word, the law or the bill is currently worded, is, is not, you're not in, in favor of it as currently worded, right? Uh, well, we, I am per, uh, personally familiar with the bill that was, uh, in the, that was uh, uh, submitted in the last Congress. Yes, Congress. I understand the, uh, the authors have uh, reworked that bill mm -hmm. somewhat. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to, to learn from our good congressman here right. what some of the uh, features of it's this uh, reward the bill no, are. The, mm -hmm. the NALUA, uh, I, I'll throw the first uh, question here, no? mm -hmm. um, uh, Congressman Teddy. Um, are we, uh, is, it, is it redundant? Because we have a lot of laws covering uh, uh, land use, no? like for example the CARP, uh, you have the PESA law, uh, mm -hmm. the economic zones, you know, that, that kind of govern the economic zones, and then we have uh, the Urban Development and Housing Act, uh, mm -hmm. which, which uh, one way or another, they did, yeah, they, they, the, the, and the local the government code, code. No, they, they, it, it specifies how certain lands are to be classified and used. Mm -hmm. Are we not, uh, with this law, are, are we not uh, being redundant here? And uh, basically... Well, I think it strengthens addressing. the implementation of previous All right. legal mechanisms. No? because you're coming out with a national policy framework mm -hmm. that has to incorporate uh, all, all interests of stakeholders, whether it's mm -hmm. the industry or the farmers or even the local government units. No? Mm -hmm. And we're providing guides that would be, because at the end of the day, it's really the local government unit still having the mandate of approving land use plans, mm -hmm. but based on certain Parameters, that parameters you, uh, national, that. regional, or local. No? Mm -hmm. So, ginagawa lang niya yung, yung tinatahe. No? Lahat mm -hmm. ng itong mga plano, CARP, uh, uh, Prime Agriculture Lands, Tourism, mm -hmm. Environmental Laws, 
LGU mm -hmm. interests into one policy framework. Mm -hmm. Now, do you agree, Jimmy, that, uh, that we should have this one national policy or should we just leave it with the LGUs uh, to determine? Because they're, they're probably in a better position to... To, well, to they, determine what their, the, the use for their land is. The LGUs do the planning for the respective jurisdictions of the territories. Mm. At the end of the day, you have to relate these plans at the town and city level and the provincial level to a larger uh, framework that mm -hmm. we wish uh, our country to have mm. for, mm -hmm. uh, for its physical development. So we do need a, an overarching uh, Law. Mm -hmm. you know, do you the, think, though, the, that it's overreaching? Do you think the current bill, or at, the, at least the way you understand the, the, the bill, do you think it's overreaching to the point that it uh, kind of negates the the powers of the LGU? Well, I'm I'm curious to hear what our good congressman uh, Teddy, if I may call you, sure. uh, uh, will will tell us about how they will make tagpi tagpi to all the other laws that have been uh, passed already mm -hmm. in order to. Uh, to be consistent with this uh, with this new law, yeah, yeah. because mm -hmm. that is one source of anxiety. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the the past laws, about 20 of them, uh, specified specific parcels of land for specific uses, mm -hmm. and then placed them under the responsibility of specific agencies. No? Right. So, how do we segue from there, from where we are now, to uh, to this? Yeah, and just having, I think, four. Larger, you have four uses for, four for right, classification. For, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. trying to. Yeah. Well, let's simplify you know, uh, mm. uh, the, the classifications into production, production? Uh, protection, protection, settlements, Settlement. which uh, more or less addresses also the concerns of the industry, and infrastructure. And infrastructure. Uh, so the four. Yeah, this, these are the major, more or less uh, the four classifications. So all those other laws uh, classifying would, land would, would fall, fall under the, the four? Would fall uh, all right. under okay. these classifications. And I How guess would you, in, for example, uh, place... Uh, 7160, the local government code, uh, that empowers the local governments to, to plan their, to, their use of land. Uh, and uh, they have the legislative power to, mm -hmm. to classify the use of lands within their respective but it, jurisdictions. But it's, it's in the law itself that says that the mandate to approve plans is the local government unit. And in fact, it provides uh, uh, guidelines as well as the formation of land use councils at the local level. No? Mm -hmm. But subject to approval of the, of, of the uh, Department of Agrarian Reform. No, that's the current law. The current law is the LGU can reclassify no, at least 5% of their five percent ah, cultural lands. That's, that's, that's the current law. So the, but the, 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 new, conversion, the new one has, uh, has made the change? No, we're just saying that right now, no, uh, because the position of Daris also they don't want to surrender the mandate of conversion. No, from the, right now, because it's the Dar. Who that can convert? Who can, yeah. The, the DAR approves the conversion. Way, they, now that you're, uh, you know, uh, formulating a new law, and it's supposed to give a, a, a good overview of the way we should plan the use of land and manage it. Nimo pweding bisitain ulit itong power of the DAR over conversion, as if it is an exclusive right on their part. Ang ayo lang kasi po natin is yung local government units that haphazardly convert. You know, areas that should be protected, that should be uh, focused on, on, on watershed or biodiversity conversion mm -hmm. or providing food to the local populace. No? And, and, only, because, uses, and uh, only because uh, many of them uh, do not have the, the, the technical, technical capability yeah. nor some of the yeah. resources. Because right. and I, hopefully now that you have a national yeah, agency that's that you're proposing. That's providing them the guide. I, I used to be mayor. Yeah. I used to be governor. Yeah. 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 Pag submit your... It's a comprehensive land use plan. The only one who does it is the planning officer. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's no consultation. Yeah. Right. He doesn't know how yeah. to classify certain so are, we, are we giving a, a, too much power, massive power to the, to the DAR uh, in, in this uh, scenario? At least in the mat matter of converting agricultural lands into other pur yeah. purposes. No. That, that they have overarching power. They already have that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's nothing right now yeah. in our version that changes that mandate. Mm. Congressman, that's no. a big change, huh? From the yeah. from the version that uh, was submitted in the last Congress. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. yeah, because the position this is, this of Dar is a very they don't significant change. Yeah. Ayon nilang is surrender yung yung mandato na yon. Uh, eh, na it's uh, still us. Uh, 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 yeah, but they're uh, they're merely an administrative office. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they're supposed to administer the CARP, mm -hmm. which is a very specific program for what 5.7 million farmers. Uh, that 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 the small 
percentage of the total population. We would like to revisit the the logic behind mm -hmm. the, uh, that mandate in the first right. place, no? right. because it was mm -hmm. approved uh, years no, back. No, no is the Nalua, I'm sorry, uh, Jimmy, no? uh, but is, uh, I have a question. Does the Nalua, it, it, the Nalua has a very conservative definition of uh, what is protected land, no? which refers to all agricultural land areas. Di ba? So it, it's... Prime. Uh, so, Prime, prime, yeah. yes, prime. Now, can, can we say, and this is the kind of like the criticism uh, of some sectors on, 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 the, on the law, no? that it's, it's, it's biased in favor of the, the peasant, peasantry sector and, and against the man, other legitimate sectors like you know, private real estate developers. Uh, do you think that that's a, a fair uh, assessment? Or, you know, there, there, there's definitely... Some sectors were saying it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. pro poor. So okay, I mean, no, it's, no, it's, it's pro peasant. It's uh, not sector. It's not so much protecting the interests of the peasantry, but mm. the, the the issue on food security. Okay. You know, the country has always been striving for rice self sufficiency. Right. I mean, in Secretary Ali Kalano, that while production has been increasing, mm. but land you know, devoted for agriculture production is also decreasing mm -hmm. and populations are increasing although okay. we've recently passed our age law no so it's really trying to make sure that there are irrigated agricultural lands because that's the definition of prime agricultural lands mm -hmm. as defined by the department of agriculture na itong mga irrigated agricultural yeah. lands no ay mananatili para sa production ng ating pagkain okay yeah. all right whether it it helps the peasants or the farmers or all of us that's on the side that's on yeah, the side. Because I, all of us yeah. want Christ. But you, you know you what? Think, all of us want Jimmy, food. But you, you know you what? Mean, we in the private land sector, mm -hmm. we are also so concerned about the food, uh, food production and food self-sufficiency of the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, believe it or not, we would like the farmers to really progress. Mm -hmm. Except we don't think the carp, as we know it, and as we have known it since 1987, is uh, the kind it's of program that will that. bring this about. And we have more than 20 years. More, more than 25 yeah. years already to look back to, and mm. it, it hasn't. That's, that's another the, issue. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. the food production yeah. has just gone down uh, mm. every year practically. You know, so there but seems some, to be some. But, but some wrong people with are that. saying that this is just an extension of the carp. No. Uh, uh, can you disabuse uh, our minds? And, Carper uh, yeah. is supposed to expire next year. I'm chairman mm. of the Committee on Agrarian Reform. Mm -hmm. There are several bills pending before my committee right now that either calls for a new agrarian reform program altogether, mm. an extension, or just the, the allocation of uh, budgetary resources. But mm. nothing in Nalua says that it is extended. Oh, That's yeah. welcome yeah. news, uh, Teddy, yeah. this, the, the change. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you well, know, this, this uh, reviewing the, uh, the role of, of DAR, this reviewing the whole notion of conversion. I, yeah. I think that's, uh, that's you'll, you'll get a lot yeah. of uh, participation from the private sector. But right. 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 naman ho ng discussion yan sa yeah. plenary. And, it, it, oh, and the discussions will only continue. No? Of course. Now, yeah. now at this point, uh, uh, I, uh, sorry to, uh, to uh, cut in, but uh, we'll have to see the, the viewer's opinion. Uh, we do take a, our viewer opinions poll uh, online. On, online poll, our question, does the Philippines need the National Land Use and Management Act? Now, the result is yes. 60% and no, 40%. So join the discussions online. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash solar opposing views or follow us also on Twitter at uh, opposing underscore views and use the hashtag OV land use. We'll take a short break. More issues about the pending land use act when opposing views returns. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're still watching Opposing Views. Still with us is IFUCA Representative Teddy Bagilat Jr. and uh, Dr. Jimmy Kura, Vice Chairman of the RGV Group of Real Estate Companies. And we're asking tonight, does the Philippines need the National Land Use and Management Act? Now, in the, the, there's going to be a council, uh, Congressman Teddy, right? There's going to be a council, and it's a national uh, policy-making yeah. council called the National Land Use Planning Council. <clears throat> now, uh, there's, there were some questions, uh, and I, I don't know what the, uh, maybe you can inform us on, on your bill, whether, whether the private uh, land sector 
is included in this council? They're included. They are included. In, because it's, we're just saying that the, let's say the real in, uh, estate industry is just one of the many stakeholders mm -hmm. that should be involved in, yeah. in land yes. use. So, kasama ang so in the council, there will be... Ano lang, yes. Anong ratio ngayon? Anong distribution ngayon, Congressman? Uh, one representative each sector. No, I think ang, ang... Including the basic sectors? Yeah. Uh, in the first... In the earlier farmers, version, kasi last year, it was four. No, for the basic two, sectors. Two per per basic uh, sector. Like, mm -hmm. yung, kasi kinakailangan yung gender sensitive rin. Eh. So mm -hmm. if it's farmers, there has to be two. One yeah. woman, one, one, one male. Mm -hmm. One male, one female. So yun ang inaano namin. Okay. And then the urban poor... The indigenous peoples, which is my, yeah. no, my, my uh, advocacy, uh, as well as the fisher folk. No? Mm. And then represented in ang, ang industry, mm -hmm. ang, ang chamber of uh, commerce, I guess, uh, and other stakeholders, including government. No? Mm. Ang panukala nyo yata kasi is uh, maisama yung mga expert strain on land use or more increased uh, no. yeah. uh, representation yeah, Jimmy, what is your uh, business? You? Well, our earlier your, reaction was because of the predominance of, of the basic sectors in the council. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was, uh, there was a token representation, uh, of one or two, from the private sector. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest about it, the investment decisions, the big investment decisions in the country are really being made by the private uh, land yeah, uh, private sector, group. Sure. Yeah. You know? and, uh, and we feel that uh, they should have mm. a s stronger representation in that. Uh, mm. Not necessarily to to outnumber the basic sector, but at least, but at least on, equally on, on equal. Balance. Equal, yeah. Unequal. Yeah. Yeah. Would Parang, there be an equal representation? You think there will be an equal representation in this council? Because I mean, it's equitable. It's mm. more mm. Yeah. the more appropriate term. Because Sometimes, because you know, this whole thing, this whole business of land, no, by now has become a little bit more uh, so sophisticated and technical in, mm. in a lot of ways. Mm. Uh, for instance, we talk about uh, protection land, use production land, the various categories of land. You know, at the operational level, we don't really even know where these parcels of land exactly are. Mm. We don't know their boundaries. Yeah. Mm. We don't even know the, really the attributes of, of parcels of land and uh, make that as a basis for determining that this is best for agriculture rather than for any other use. Mm. Or as time goes on, what has been used for agriculture has yeah, outlived its value yeah. and could be used for another uh, uh, production uh, use more, more with, with better returns for everyone. Mm -hmm. So we don't have the, because this, this requires technology. Hindi sa pag po, I mean, it's not to put down anyone. Hmm. It's just that, sana maglagay tayo doon, mga tao, who can really bring uh, the insights that are hmm. necessary to represent the state of the nation at hmm. any given point in time. Will there be a representation so, sorry, of it's, it's, technical people? Uh, well, the government is hmm. very much hmm. represented, and they're supposed to also have the technical resource persons Boss, to provide what you talking need. about government, mm. when, again, the devil is in the details, no? Uh. When you go to the agencies that are supposed to sit there... You're saying that they're not the, technically competent? These are, well, these are the very same agencies that were, that were supposed to be in charge of the physical database on which we would have to plan our planning, our physical planning of the country. Mm. Now, look at, the, uh, look at the agencies. When did Namria... Uh, produce the topo maps that we are now using. Mm. Okay, uh, what about? And there are different kinds of maps, by the way. Right. Mm. You have the topographic maps yes. by Nauria. Mm -hmm. You have the geologic maps by the, mm. and you have the uh, soft these maps, no, which are right. which the DA is supposed to have. Uh, and all of these were were done and formulated. Mm. How how long ago? Twenty years ago? Thirty years ago? Forty years ago? Mm. So, the, so you're saying having government there in the council is. Ang sinasabi lang natin, Maybe it's, it's not, not even good. entirely their fault, mm. but the but the government agencies right now are hampered, no? Mm. Are hampered by lack of technology, mm. are hampered by by lack of trained personnel. Mm. So, Congressman, how do we address that? Yeah, yeah which no. is what the the Nalua hopes to address, mm. no? to provide uh, adequate resources for government to effectively plan, mm. to to hire. And who determines who is going to be in that council? Because it's kind of. Uh, uh, I guess in my question is, uh, for example, if there's any difference or conflict between what the uh, that, that council says and what the, an LGU, LGU says, who's, who's going to be, uh, whose decision 
will uh, be the one followed in well, terms of classification. It's a, it's a national policy framework, uh, so yeah. you, you cannot digress from yeah. a policy framework. So the framework. LGU can't o overturn it, right? For example, if you've already classified it as a particular for a particular use, the LGU but, can't, but, say, can't uh, say... The decision still lies with the LGU. It's just saying that you have to identify what are your protected critical watersheds. And if the LGU says, so how, how do we know where is the critical watershed? Here comes DNR. Mm. Here comes Namria with all their uh, data information. Right. And sa akin kasi is, mas, mas gusto ko lang, no? Uh, na whoever technical or experts who come in to the council has to be from government na sa akin. Because mm. the, the danger of, of getting someone from the private sector is what interests do they mm. represent? You may present mm. data or information that is biased either to the peasants or yeah. to the We industry. agree. And therefore, how will you equip these government agencies so that they can be uh, a lot more competent, a lot more up-to-date with, with, with technology. Uh, by the way, surveys nowadays do not have to be done uh, on the ground all the time. There is Satellites. technology. Yeah. Satellites. So all of these things can speed yeah. a lot of processes <coughs> up, <coughs> but this is not being done. <coughs> up to now, 40% uh, of our lands have not yet been subjected to cadastral survey by the DNR. We, they're nice people. We, we have many friends there, but they they're just they're not equipped. They cannot. They're not equipped. They're not, they're not and equipped. this is yeah. what the, the law is supposed the, to. The law is supposed to address how, resources. How will the law uh, yes. providing the more resources? How how uh, getting more? What resources, resources have you worked into the will law? Will there be training? Will there be training? Yeah. Uh, uh, part of it is uh, adequate training. Uh, there's appropriation. That's why it has to also undergo right. the committee on appropriation. Okay, yes. because that is what was lacking yeah. in the in the former. Uh, in, any, the in any, in any, the, the only apprehension of government, uh, this is the national, Malacanang in supporting this bill is no new or structures and additional offices. Yeah. And which, which, which but brings the information should be Which there. brings me to my question. No? Is, um, and again, some sectors are bringing this up. Is the Nalua a regressive law in the sense that it, it might uh, have serious repercussion, repercussions on manufacturing and other commercial industries? Uh, because that's being brought up, uh, obviously. Akin, you, yeah, yeah. No, it, it, it helps the, the economy, it helps the, the business people to decide what investments to pour into the country or to a certain locality because there's now a plan. Because no? if you're a businessman, if you really like to invest because the climate is good, whether Jan or Dito or Don, then, no? mm -hmm. you, you bring in your investment. And at least yeah. right now, the, you can also look into the local economy because the LGUs now have their own. Uh, this is where you can put your commercial. Yeah. This is where There's you special can put zones, your mining. Special zones of business. Yeah. So, so it's, it's clear for them. Group. It's clear for uh, local or foreign investors mm. that when they come in, there is a plan that they mm. can follow. Do you think, Jimmy, this is a kind of a regressive law? Well, we're playing catch up. I think that's the, mm. the better way to put it. Is that we're not regressing. We're, we're catching up with something we ought to have had years ago. Okay. But the, the problem, uh, Congressman, is if we do not uh, open up the process of legislation and consultation really to the concerned sectors, the wrong signals are, are sent. And therefore... Uh, ako nagtaka, eh, uh, yeah. Jimmy, because mm. bakit nung nakaraang Kongreso, it was only during the third uh, reading in the Senate that that the real estate came in, but, but previous to that, we had hearings. Taman. But that's not the true. The committee on mm. uh, land use was That's there. not true. Mm. Official position papers were submitted, actually. That's why we were so surprised when this thing passed through third reading. Well, and of then, course. And then we consulted our friends in Because Congress. at the end of the day, well, marami still the, the, naman doon. Ang nagboboto mm. naman ay mga kongresista. Yeah, but the trouble was, many of your, your colleagues in the Congress surpri yeah. expressed surprise. They themselves didn't know about it. It, it, was, it, it was read the in, in, the, okay. in the Congress. Well, it was read on second reading. It passed the third reading. Nobody raised an objection. Congressman, yun ang aming uh, impression na nakuha, especially after we double-checked with some of them. Mm. They, they, they professed ignorance. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now, is it, easy to, is it right to assume, um, Congressman Teddy, now, that a rapid urbanization will automatically lead to loss of farmlands? Um, because there are some very industrialized countries now, even if, you know, with, with urbanization, it didn't yeah. necessarily mean that they, yeah. uh, they became you know, uh, uh, less proficient. You, in you go farm, to the highly production. progressive cities and mm. countries. Mm. I, I don't know if, if this is the take also of the real estate industry, but high-rise 
you know, um, untrusted you know, mm. in Singapore and Hong Kong because they mm. know that land is finite and yeah. and in there it's very strict that it's um, agriculture ito, so it's it's really mm. going high rise so I, I I don't think that a, a national land use policy would restrict uh, mm. investments or would affect the construction industry they might just have to shift their priorities right now because sa akin lang and and this is just my personal take no what's happening now is uh, uh, some sectors no are are afraid that with this land use uh, the the tactic or or the the thrust of having sprawling subdivisions and big mansions no mm. uh would would be um um probably be secondary now huh, in terms of uh, the development in a certain locality you know? because what we're pushing is if you really want um, mm. investments you know, in, in yeah. housing industry then lutasin natin yung pinakamalaking problema which is must socialize housing you know? now do you think do boss lutasin muna natin yung agrarian reform kasi the, the, the ones who are looking at the outward investments mm -hmm. no, away from the primary city, uh, because the cities really yeah. are b badly congested, they are wary of the cost of land. Yeah. And the process of uh, acquiring those lands for other purposes mm -hmm. is very, very complex and very expensive. Uh, do you think, Jimmy, that the... the because the Lua... of the DAR and the, and the CARP. Uh, do you think on a larger scale uh, with, with, with the CARP and also the Lua... Uh, being there, do you think it will shoo away potential investors? Well, to be honest with you, if the planning process is finally there and we have a really a rational national, mm. national physical framework plan and the uh, mm. cities and towns yeah. uh, uh, kind of harmonize their, mm. their local plans with the master plan of, of the country, I think the it, congressman, no? it will be a better guide for, for investment. Mm. Mm. But we don't have that now. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we transition to that, uh, to that stage mm. and get this process going mm. without disturbing uh, or shaking up the many investors who have invested quite a bit of hard-earned mm. money yeah. into activities that are ongoing now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. you don't explain it to me, I hope it's better to be in the process of decision-making within the Congress. No? Mm. But I do agree that... Uh, we're not saying that we're railroading mm -hmm. uh, laws in Congress, no? but there's so many bills filed, about 10,000 every Congress. So, mm. ang pagkaalam ko, once it is read in, in second reading and there's no one stood up and, and yeah, questioned the law, it, yeah. and mm -hmm. then it goes to the third reading, which is perfunctory saying, you know, we're just uh, affirming our decision, then wala na sanang right. discussion dyan, no? So. Mm -hmm. Ang sa akin lang, kung gusto nyo talaga makilahok ngayon, hmm. then as early as now, uh, right. get champions in Congress to also okay. uh, expound on your views. Mm. Well, we're running out of time. Uh, maybe uh, we'll have a quick recap lang. Uh, Congressman Teddy, uh, your quick 30-second uh, wrap-up. Uh, well, I think uh, everybody uh, agrees that we need yeah. land use. Yes. You know? yes. uh, and, and I think uh, perhaps the process, the, the question now is, what kind of land use law are we going to pass? And mm. Perhaps I do agree that there has to be more discussions. Mm. And this is not just a one, you know, a one uh, instant yeah. uh, decision making. Uh, coming out with your club will take perhaps two to three years. There will be more consultations going more on. More consultation, and it's right. there in the law. So, okay. No Jimmy, uh, your final word on this? Uh, well, uh, for one thing, I'm very happy that I heard from uh, Congressman Teddy that there have been changes in this new uh, version of the bill that this was filed for the 16th Congress as opposed to uh, the one in the 15th mm -hmm. Congress because that really spooked many mm -hmm. of us. Okay. All right. uh, second, uh, yes, uh, we accept the invitation of uh, uh, Congressman Teddy to, for the private sector to take part and we hope you'll, you'll invite us All right. All right. It, uh, and, and, uh, and consider the proposals we submit also. Mm -hmm. But we're totally open to dialogues with you and the, sector, the other sectors that are supposed to. Yeah, and that's what we're all about here at Opposing Views. It's all about dialogue and uh, bring out all the issues. I would like to thank our guests for tonight. If you go, Representative Teddy Baguila Jr. Thank you very much, Teddy, and Dr. Jimmy Kura, Vice Chairman of the RGV Group of Real Estate Companies. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Now, let's take a final look now at our online poll. Our question, does the Philippines need the National Land Use and Management Act? The accumulated votes from all our online platforms, the result, yes, 65% uh, and no, 35%.
And that's our opposing views for tonight. Tune in again next week for another bold and engaging discussion on the most relevant issues of today. I'm Rod Depobuseno. Good night and God bless.